time, Bert. What are we doing today, Bert? The non-fiction November. We're doing not non-fiction November. Yeah, yeah. we're doing watching... kind of like a TBR yeah. sort of. We are, we weren't gonna. You were gonna do it, weren't you? Yes. I wasn't gonna do it, until, and then I watched um, Sarah from Hardcover Hearts doing it and putting, bringing up all these books. And I thought, oh yeah, I want to do that now. Yeah. So it's so all, all I'm, I'm just in... about reading more non-fiction than you usually would, and um, I read quite a lot of non-fiction. But um, and I'm gonna read some fiction as well. But mm-hmm. what about you? Do you read? I think like maybe. Like a third of my books might be non fiction. Okay. So, yeah. Quite I think a lot. I might be about half and half. Yeah. I quite like a bit of non. Yeah. And I love a memoir. I'm excited to read some of these books, though. Yeah. yeah. So, we've got quite a few, so we're not necessarily going to read all of these. No, they're but just they're... ideas. Yeah, and we've tried to follow the prompts. Have we? we... Have yes. we really? And um, like everyone else, I think we've. Uh... We're not like everyone else because um, Elizabeth had a football one. She did. Yeah. I've got a sport one. Apparently. Yeah. More than yours. <laughs> okay, so okay. if we so the first prompt we're gonna think about was design. design. What yes. have you got for design? For design I've gone with more like the design of the book, I think. I think that's good. That's solid. Yeah, so I'm going for the Timothy Leary project, which is the Inside the Great Counterculture Experiment. This is by Jennifer Ulrich, but it's really um, a collection of documents. Um, well, first of all, it's got this really lovely design, naked hardback design, yeah. <laughs> and it's just really a, a collection of um, like letters and articles and photographs um, from the, I guess, Timothy Leary collection. That's him getting married. Um, there's not a huge amount of writing in it. Um, so I think I can sort of race through it. I got it when it came out and I was re- pretty excited um, about it. So, yeah, I mean, anything to do with that that era, as you'll probably see from the rest of my... Yeah, picks. there's quite a strong 70s yes. vibe. Yeah, 60s, 70s. Yeah. So I've gone for this one for design, mm. which is We Are As Gods, Back to the Land in the 1970s, On the Quest for a New America by Kate Dallas. I've probably mentioned this a few times because I've been meaning to read it since you read it, which you said is about three years about ago. three years ago, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know why I haven't read it, but for some reason I haven't. I'm determined to... keep pulling it out. Yeah, because I really want to. But yeah. I think it's quite big, isn't it? Maybe It's quite big and it's quite a slow read, but in a really okay. pleasant way. So I'm going for design on the... I'm thinking of the geodesic domes. Yes. yes. Um, which I love. And I really yeah. love that... I really love that kind of um, architecture as well. Or that, yeah. you know, that kind of building yourself or vernacular I was thinking of but mm. um or or just buildings that you create yourself and the whole, like Buckminster Fuller yeah kind of stuff. so I'm really into and that and it's also and about how to how a, a working commune kind of like you know how you get water how you grow food and that's yeah. kind of the whole system yeah it's really fascinating so. um if a if a commune book isn't telling me lots about the food they ate yes. I'm out same I love the stuff about cooking in a commune mm-hmm. or yeah we base our whole diet around <laughs> Can't be food, yeah. Food, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's that one. Have you got? You don't have anything else for design. No, I don't. So my other one for design is um, again one that you've read yeah. and one that you recommended to Sarah from Hardcover yes. Parts, and she's got this in for yeah, design one as well. I really love this one. So this is Insurgent News: Life and Art at the Women's Building by Terry Wolverton, which is again sort of seventies and it's West Coast feminist arts movement. So um, I slightly uncomfortable putting it in design as it is art. Big difference. Big difference. <laughs> um, but um, you were also saying about the design of the building and the kind of it's about the, the, fun- the function. Design. Yeah, of it. So. It kind of in fitting into the weird. There's also posters design in there. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's, that's a really that good book. I enjoyed that. And then um, voice. voice. Yeah. What have you got for voice. Uh, I've got well, inspired by watching Celia's haul, she um, picked this for nonfiction November. M trained by Patty Smith. And it just really, then at that point it occurred to me, I, was like, oh, I still haven't read M Train either. Yeah. Um, I don't know why, because Just Kids is like the best book ever. Um, I think, I, I know it's not going to be Just Kids. but just, It's not as good as yeah. Just Kids, because Just Kids is the best yeah. book ever. But I know I'm going to love it. But I felt there was something very lovely about it, because it's more about, um, I think you'll like it, because it's very much, it's about now more, yeah. and it's very much about her quite small life yeah. and I thought that was really nice yeah and she's great and also yeah. watching again Sarah from Hardcover Hearts went to see Patty Smith yeah. recently um, talking 
um, that I think that just kind of made, made me realise I need to mm. read some Patty Smith again. I remember being quite bothered in this about who fed the cats when she was away. Oh, right, right. I don't think it was covered. Right, okay. I've also got Patty Smith, um, but the new one, oh, you yeah. have the monkey. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's good to read this. And it is, is it like a memoir? Yeah, I think yeah. so. So a memoir of a year, I think. Oh, okay. So literally the year of the monkey kind of thing. Oh, I see. Uh, as in, yeah, I think that's what it is. Mm. And a, a year of touring, maybe, or... Um, of following a run of New Year's concerts at San Francisco's legendary film or Patti Smith finds herself tramping the coast of Santa Cruz about to embark on a year of solitary wandering. Oh, that sounds great. Does sound good. Again, who is feeding the cats? Not, not I... Patty, no. for sure. <laughs> Maybe her daughter's going round. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else have you got? Okay, I've got um, another memoir for voice. This is Elena D- D- Douglas's I Blame Dennis Hopper. Which is again a book I've had for a, a long time and I keep pulling it out. And I don't I, know why either of us haven't read this. I know, we love her, she's so great. And it's just, um, it's, uh, I blame Dennis Hopper and other stories from a life lived in and out of the movies. So it's kind of, yeah, it's a memoir, but it's, I think it is specifically looking at films and films she's been in and her love of cinema. Um, yeah, it looks great. I kind of get the feeling that she's going to be really funny and mm. but write really well. And yeah. I, she's just really fascinating, I think. I just really like like the design of that as that well. That is lovely. Um, it's you know Jeff Goldblum, loving it. Eric Idle. Um, other people I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be great though. Wait, um, did you get onto that one because of my new jacket? I was influenced from my new jacket. Like, she's, <laughs> she's not stopped wearing it. Well, I only had it yesterday. And your your mum, so my mother in law sent me this. My mum, who owns a boutique, yeah. um, sometimes sends yarn. Yeah. Some and stuff. I was really happy with it. And then Bert did say it was a bit like um, her in Ghost World. Yeah, that kind of uh, art teacher. He did use the words middle-aged. Middle-aged art teacher. <laughs> Slightly damaged. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a good look. It's one I, I meant it as a compliment. Okay. But, um... Um, also, I kind of, in my kind of art design, art things, I Ghost World, I find, and what's the name of the guy that did the comic? Oh, Daniel uh, Close, Klaus. Klaus, yeah. Also quite anti-art. Mm. Yeah. He did the art school confidential the art, one. Yeah, yeah, but I kind of, you can kind of see it in Ghost World because it's very much that kind of, the, and it, you know, it's yeah, there, to, it should be mocked because it is ridiculous too. Also. Mocking the yeah. and that film that she has, which, you know, I often think about in relation to when you see <laughs> art, but then um, he, then that art school confidential is very anti-art isn't it kind of the, yeah, the sort of it seems fine like art conceptual bitter, art isn't it? Like, yeah like, like, like bitter yeah so he was in college obviously wanting to be a a, a, um, a graphic yeah illustrator illustrator yeah. and so i just think well you were on the wrong course is the issue i would say with that one he needs to be on a different course Good point. not the fine art <laughs> maybe okay so I've got the voice high school by Tegan and Sarah. Um, Tegan, <laughs> if you're in Wales and speaking Welsh, mm. is actually pronounced Tegan and it means toy. Oh, right. So that's if just an interesting that. aside yeah. for you. But um, I like the sort of idea of the voice ones being about music as well. So yes, and I recently true. bought this, really interested to get to it. Yeah, yeah, I'll read that after you. Yeah. Well, I have another... Oh, Sydney's have... reading that as well, isn't she? Oh, she has, yeah. yeah. Well, she's reading it now, yeah. yeah. We're easily led. Swayed by Sydney yeah. and Sarah. Yeah. And anyone else in the S. I So this is another kind of music um, journalism kind of one. This is uh, The Only Girl by Robin Green. I bought this for three ninety nine in hardback from HMV last week. And it's new, isn't it? Like, yeah, I couldn't pass it up. There's one I'd sort of seen previously in a bookshop and thought, oh, that looks interesting. Maybe I'll wait for paperback or get out of the library or something. Mm. But I couldn't pass it up at three ninety nine. So it's her memoir as she was, Robin Green was, I think, the first and, like, for a long time, the only woman working on Rolling Stone magazine. This is, like, in the 70s. It was the era <laughs> of... Like that. Uh, I think maybe we'll have to stop. Probably. No, we'll wait. Here we go. <laughs> it's the era of like Huntress Thompson and Ben Bong Torres and so you know hedonism and reckless kind of rock star behaviour. Yeah, yeah, I think it's gonna be really good. It reads really well, kind of quite sort of breezy. Um, yeah, looking forward to that one. There are lots of noises as well as that bone. Oh yes, we have workmen outside. Yeah, yeah, they're quite loud. Yeah. Uh oh. 
Truth, Vice. Voice. Still on Vice. I've got this one. Um, Afrofish is British on race, identity, and belonging. Yeah, that looks good. She's amazing, I think. Mm -hmm. Although, was one of the. I think it was one of the judges in the Booker. How oh, was she? So, Charlotte was saying that. And I think also sort of defended the decision around splitting the prize. So, yeah. I think Charlotte was saying that if she wasn't. She felt that if she wasn't involved in it, she'd be complaining about it. Uh, well, it's interesting, the whole book, I think. Yeah. I'm keeping out of it. It's that one? Yeah. And then I've also got um, Notes Made While Falling by Jen Ashworth, again, a recent one. Um, and this is a memoir kind of about um, chronic illness, I think. Yes. And it read quite well. Um, published by well, Goldsmiths Press, which I didn't really know Amazing. existed. But... Yeah. Well, that's probably why you found it in London during yeah, your book frenzy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, next is Truth. Truth. What have you got for truth, Bert? I kind of feel that any of these books could go into any of these categories, to be honest. They could, other than this book. Yes. Truth. I have, this is one of Sean's books, it's Greetings from Utopia Park. Uh, I think I bought you this. Yeah. Yeah, it's by Claire Hoffman. Um, keeping in the 70s, as I do like to, this is a, um, so it's a memoir of her father was an alcoholic and sort of abandoned her family when she was quite young, and her mum then took them to this um, transcendental meditation commune to live. So she grew up there. Another commune book. It's another commune book. It's a, uh, and it's, I think it's sort of, st everything started really well and then thing, I think as they tend to do in communes, things turned a bit sour mm. and um, like drugs and kind of, um, she then had to sort of leave and go to California and try and be normal. Um, but I just love her coming of age kind of, commune slash mm, me too. slightly like uh, weird childhood memoir yeah yeah so i'm gonna enjoy that i've got greta thunberg for truth because <laughs> she's uh telling the truth she is um no one is too small to make a difference it's also a very cute little book she's such a cute picture in the back i know mm. she's so great mm. isn't she so yeah and i just picked this up just like it was on the counter when okay. i picked got the notes made off falling and I thought I should, at the very least, should just read. Yeah. Because I haven't really watched her talk that yeah, much. So. Yeah. Yeah. I have um, Sean's latest purchase, Astro Poets. Um, this is by Alex Dimitrov and Dorothea Lasky. It's just another book on um, astrology and zodiac signs. Although it's on, it seems kind of quite fun. It's got. They're um, on Twitter, right. which is how I knew about them. And um, I wanted to like Astro Poets on Twitter. And they're often really funny. Yeah. So that's kind of why I bought yeah. it. And I would just read anything like this, to be honest. So, but loads of star sign. I do, and it's got loads of sort of pop culturey stuff in there, and like each sun sign has their own playlist. And we've got yeah. like Bob Dylan, and Stevie Gemini. Nicks, yeah, Stevie Nicks, Lana and Del Prince. Rey, Prince. So our playlist, other than having Blake Shelton on it, is the best. Is the best playlist. Yeah, Gemini's are the best. Possibly, possibly the best. Although there's quite sort of there's quite an anti Gemini. <laughs> I don't get it myself. <laughs> Saying that we're flaky. As if that's a bad thing. Yeah, right. that's just cute. And it's fun just reading about our friends. Yeah. Uh, and then it's like, oh, that's why they yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be good. I've got um, Carl over Knausgaard. Yes, Deep Truths. Deep Truths from Carl. Um, that's he not what the book is called. <laughs> <laughs> he just can't stop with the deep truths. No, though. he's really truthful, isn't he? Mm. Probably to a... A bad dangerous dangerous yeah. degree he's dangerous writing even is, as well yeah. this is inadvertent and it's under the wire right series which also had a patty smith one on which i didn't enjoy that much it was okay um so it's really short and actually really big font oh, nice. as well yeah. um i was saying i felt that this could go into sport yeah, because in, so. <laughs> yeah. i know that carl is really into football yeah yeah i don't think that's a reason enough he yeah. he probably talks about football. Right. Well, right. he's talking about. He's probably like, I can't write the football song. Well, I think if you read it and then he does, then you can include it as the sport challenge. There we go. Um, oh yeah, we've, we're still, still on. on truth. <laughs> I have Joanne Kaiger's um, kind of travel journals. This is the Japan and India journals from 1960 to 1964. It's a beautiful book. I love the cover. Um, it is lovely. Yeah. So in this early 60s, so Joanne Kaiger's kind of a poet. She was in the kind of beat um, generation circle. She's also travelled with Gary Snyder. I think they were together at this point. Um, and she went to study Zen Buddhism. And this is her unedited, um, like, 
travel journals. So uh, it's supposed to be a bit of a classic of, of its type. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. Um, and it's kind of about her finding her voice yeah. as a poet and her should thoughts. Have voice. It should have done, yeah. But Plenty then it had, the whole, it had the whole meditation uh, Buddhism sort of angle as well. Yeah. So I put it in truth. Um, but yeah, that's going to be really interesting. I think, I think it's always really interesting reading um, um, women from the Beat Generation as well because I it's do. so... It's so often just those few yeah. are talked about, are they like the Ginsburg and the Kerouac, and, and then it's nice when you yeah. have the women's perspective. Agree. It's so hard to find any actual books of poetry in the UK by Joanne Clyde, but even uh, second hand. Okay. So th I think that's how I found, found this. I was just looking for books, and um, this is, I guess, a nice way in mm. um, to, to reading more of the I poetry. I that as well. And then the last one I've got for Truth, and I don't really know why this is in Truth necessarily. <laughs> Again, could this go in sport? Or, there um, seems there's probably a lot of walking. Or voice. Oh yeah. yeah. So this is um, the stars, the snow, the fire. Twenty five years in the Alaska wilderness by John Haynes. It's one I've had for a little while because I'm quite interested in. Um, well, I really like stuff about snow, yeah. and I really like stuff about kind of trying to survive in places. Yeah. Um, and kind of stuff. Yeah, and kind of building, creating your own um, little world, yeah. and kind of quite remote living. I'm quite interested in reading yeah. about. Um, this has got a really lovely picture of his cabin in 1980 which just looks yeah. so cosy 1980 was peak cabin do you think it was peak Aesthetic. cabin yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. judging by that picture yeah so it just looks really lovely that's the only i think that's the only picture there's nothing else there is stuff about trapping which i'm not excited for but um i guess if you're trapping and just eating the stuff yourself you're in alaska yeah as well i'm a bit more uh, forgiving of that so Yes. That's that one. And I guess building your own cabin. Yeah. Homestead in. Yeah, so that sounds nice. It does. And sport. And sport. Do you want to go with your sport? I will go with my sport. So I'm reading the uh, Chronology of Water, written by uh, um, Lydia Yuknovich, um, which is a biography, I think, that is, I think it's from about 20, 2010, but it's just been reissued or just come out for the first time in the UK this year. Um, and it's supposed to be brilliant. I'm really excited to read it, but it's kind of her memoir. Um, How's it sport, Bob? It's sport because it's about the exhilaration of swimming. Yeah. <laughs> which I obviously knew when I bought it. Uh, I'd um, say that's probably just like, unless she's competitive swimming, it's what probably is it, just Jane? exercise. What is it? <laughs> it's swimming. Um, it's a kind of memoir, it says. It's also a pie into the pursuit of beauty, self-expression, desire for men and women, and the exhilaration of swimming. So I think it's also kind of a coming coming of age and through um, addiction, self-destructive behaviour, and I think it is one of those deep truth kind of Lovely. like... Lovely. I'm excited to read well. that as well. Her yeah. name keeps coming up and I don't really know her, so mm. yeah. Yeah, I think it's nice to see this kind of yeah. in the UK finally. Yeah. And then my sport one is Pops by Michael Chabon. So sporty. <laughs> I think we can see from the cover that it's pretty much sport, sport, sport. <laughs> but Bert's read this and says there's a chapter on baseball. There's some stuff on baseball in there, yeah, definitely. definitely. So I'm counting that, yeah. and it's counteracted by a lot about fashion, you said as well. The stuff about fashion, it's basically because it's different articles or essays that he's written on kind of being a father and his own father and also his, all of his kids. Um, they kind of put them all together in one book, um, loose, quite loosely, I think. But yeah, so I think there's stuff about his dad really liking baseball and how that, that's kind of like something he passed down to him. And he also has a son that's really into like fashion. The, the first essay is really good. I really enjoyed that. Go to Paris Fashion Week. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah, We like Michael, Michael Chabon. Yeah, I think he's wonderful, especially as a person. Yeah. I have mixed um, success with his books. Yeah, same. But um, we both really love um, Wonder Boys, don't we? Yeah. That's still one of my favourite books. Yeah, always. I love Wonder Boys and the film. Yes. It's, yeah. I think yeah, it's rare to love them. Sort of I know, book yeah. And they're, quite, they're a bit, bit different, aren't they? They are. The film's so good, though. And I feel that, that sometimes yeah. the film does bits better. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. But the book is... I think you need to read the book. Yeah. The book's great. But then other stuff I've just started and not finished. But. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. That is non-fiction November. That's yes. what it's looking like over here. We're going to mix it up a bit with some novellas. So yes, again, we influenced will... by Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll uh, do that in a I think bit. we needed a, I needed a break. A bit of fiction, but nothing yeah. like 
I didn't want to get into too th nothing too ch too chunky. So doing non non novella November. Nov nov. Nov nov. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Plus you love a short book. Yeah. yeah I had no trouble yeah. writing short books. No, I had a bit more trouble. Yeah. Anyway, that's for another video. Yes. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye.